Hello, I'm Sadipa Malikaraji. The title of my poster is Developing a New Way to Characterize Aggregation Patterns of Polyphenols Using HPLC and DLS. My molecule of interest tanning belongs to a large group of plant secondary metabolites known as polyphenols. Tannins are super popular these days due to their antioxidant activity and astringency. These are commonly found in chocolate, tea, coffee, wine, most fruits, and vegetables. But my project focuses on chemical transformation of tannin in soil, like oxidation, polymerization, degradation, metal complexation, and adsorption. I want to find out how soil conditions affect tannin aggregation. And then I want to find out how the transformation reactions are affected by aggregation. The picture right here shows a sorghum plant. Sorghum is a very popular source of tannin. I use sorghum tannin in my experiment because it's a very good representative of all the tannin types and also because we extract and purify excellent quality sorghum tannin in our lab. Tannins are characterized by one or more hydroxyl groups attached to aromatic groups. The monomers in our tannin Either catechin or epicatechin subunits are connected through an interflavin bond to make long tannin chains. This picture right here shows how we think aggregation happens in solution. These red dots represent single monomer units, and these represent a long chain that aggregates to make particles. The hypothesis of my current project is that tannin can aggregate in a non-reversible manner in solution depending on its mixed hydrophilic, hydrophobic nature, monomeric composition, and chain length of each tannin type. My aim is to investigate agents driving this aggregation using HPLC and DLS techniques. DLS is a technique that takes advantage of light scattering patterns by particles in solution to measure particle sizes. So far, I have measured effect of solvent system, analyte concentration, and time duration to find out particle sizes. The top panel right here shows chromatograms of different ethanol compositions. It is seen that as ethanol increases, the heterodispersity increases. It is indicated by broadness of these peaks and increasing of the number of small peaks around the one broad peak. This bar graph right here summarizes data from the above chromatograph. This bar graph shows how concentration of analyte effect affects the aggregation sizes. This panel shows the results of reverse phase HPLC, a technique that is used to separate molecules according to their polar nature. In HPLC, our tanning is separate in four different peaks. We believe that this separation is due to chain length. But my goal is to find out whether aggregation plays a role in this separation. For that, I have separately collected the peaks, worked them up, and then tested them using DLS to compare data by HPLC and DLS. This 3D bar graph summarizes data by the two techniques. They don't agree much but suggests that I have to come up with a solvent system that agrees with the techniques as my next step. So I'm looking towards finding a new solvent system that will understand both techniques and give us good, reliable data. So far, I have concluded that organic solvents and low pH increase the number of peaks in DLS chromatograms. Increasing concentration of the analyte generally gives higher particle sizes, but too high of concentrations cause tight clumps, hence show lower particle sizes. As the sample age, the main peak became broader, indicating more heterodispersity. My future work includes understanding the effect of RPHPLC solvent systems, especially acetonitrile and TFT on tannin aggregation observed by DLS. Proper understanding of aggregation patterns of tannin can benefit a lot of other applications like agriculture, ecology, nutrition, medicine, and food production. Thank you.